Hi everybody, this is Book S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Dora Milaje figure. So before we take a look at Dora Milaje, let's take a look at her accessories. Now, this is just labeled Dora Milaje because it's uh, an army builder figure, but it's actually Ayo and Anika. Now, this is the Ayo head sculpt, and she does come with two alternate Anika head sculpts. Um, so let's go ahead and show those off. Oh, uh, before I do that, uh, she comes with the right leg of M'Baku, and I'm so excited to have started this figure. It looks really awesome, like, just the fur, like, that looks really, really nice. Uh, this uses the, uh, printing tech, which I was really shocked, I thought that was actual paint, but if you look up close, it's kind of pixely, so you can tell that it's that printing tech, but it looks really nice. So, uh, first up, here is the standard Anika head sculpt. And it looks really nice as well. It's just her looking normal. And then there's an angry head sculpt of hers. Let's pop that off. And put that on. So there is the angry head sculpt. And I like that as well. I, th I think it just looks really, really awesome. Now you're meant to buy uh, more than one so you can army build them. And uh, this is a little accurate. It it's still not perfectly accurate to how she appears in the movie. Um... Hasbro's, uh, kind of, kind of gave it a little bit of effort because it's semi-accurate, but it's not all the way accurate. But, uh, here's a little hack I did. Um, I took this, uh, Nakia figure, I just repainted the legs, and I uh, gave it the spear there. And then, let's go ahead and put the head sculpt on there. So there, now you have a Nika. So that's my little hack there. I didn't want to have to buy another figure, plus I got this one on sale at GameStop. So with a little repaint, you have a whole nother figure. Let's go ahead and just put her back there. And let's go ahead and put the AO head sculpt on here. And take a look at the rest of her accessories. So she comes with this, uh, it, it's kind of just like a spearhead, it's not really a dagger. But, uh, it actually, it actually has less paint than the first release. It's just cast in that, uh, marbleized gray. It's, it's kind of silverish. I wouldn't call it full-on silver, though. Like, this is silver. This is just marbleized gray. It's, it's just a really light gray. And, uh, she can kind of hold it in her hand. It does tend to do that in either hand, though, just because the handle is very thin. So you can put it in that one, and you can see that it doesn't, uh, she doesn't hold it very well, and it will fall out of her hand. Um, she comes with a spear, and it's the same thing that uh, came with the Okoye builder figure, except, again, this time it has less paint apps, and I would have preferred just a straight-up repack of that, because this one, this one is more accurate in terms of collar, but that's about it, because I made a custom spear for Okoye, and this is more accurate to how it appears in the movie. Uh, it looks very, very different. I made this out of uh, the Star Wars The Black Series Ray's uh, staff. But this is how it should look. Uh, this is nothing like it actually appears. And this is nothing... Okoye really looks nothing like this in the movie. Aside from her hands and her head, that's about the most accurate part on the figure. But she comes with this spear, and she can hold it in one hand very well. Won't drop out of her hand. Or she can hold it in both hands. Let me just kind of have to wedge it into her hands there. So now, taking a look at this head sculpt, it looks really nice. Hasbro did a good job with both of the head sculpts. Um, I couldn't find anything on Anika, though, like the actress that plays her. I know that Ao is played by uh, Florence Kasumba, and the likeness looks really good. But I couldn't find who played uh, her on, uh, on Google. I had to Google it. Because I knew who played Ao, but I didn't know who played Anika. But that head sculpt looks really good as well. That face printing tech just knocks it out of the park. Now the tattoo on her face, um, it's actually painted on. It's not using that printing tech. And and I do for, prefer that. I started to say prefer that. Um, I do prefer that though, because I think it looks a lot better than the face printing tech. Like if they would have used the, uh, the print on it, um, I don't know, it just would have came out pixelated. But these head sculpts look really, really nice. Now, as I said, uh, the body still isn't accurate to how the Dora Milaje appear in the movie. 
Um, like Okoye should have had this collar. This is accurate to uh, how she looks in the movie. But, um, or not accurate to how she looks. Uh, this neck piece is accurate. And she should have two shoulder pads right here. I don't know, it just really annoys me that Hasbro didn't even try to make it look... Well, th they went off of concept art, I get that. But still, this wave was released pretty far after the movie. Like, it's it's been just about a year since uh, Black Panther's been out. So you figure they could have uh, redone this figure and made it accurate. But the colors do look really nice. Although she has no collar at all on her back. I mean, she has just a little bit right here on the shoulder piece, the silver. But she has all this sculpt detail on her back, and none of it is colored in. On uh, Nakia here, uh, she had some gold. Which, the gold uh, was kind of put on horribly. Like, the gold was kind of just uh, slapped on there. It, it's just painted really, really bad. It's just like a Okoye. Uh, her tunic piece right here. Like, the brown is showing through, and I hate that. Like, it looks like they didn't finish putting on all the paint. Like, if you've ever painted anything orange over something brown, you'll know what I mean. Like, it looks like this until you put a few more coats over it and completely finish it. But this just looks like it was put on, and they didn't give any more thought to it. It's the same with the gold right there on her torso. They kind of just slapped on, like, eh, it kind of looks right. So, so that's my that's my major that's the major flaw with these figures, is it, it has really good sculpt and even though it's not accurate, they still could have done better with the paint apps. Like the gold right here looks really nice, but it just goes to right there, like it doesn't come around the inner part of her arm right there. Now the tunic piece it does look really good. It's painted on and doesn't use the the printing tech like Nakia and Okoye did. And it looks really nice. It came out really clean. And so did the stripes there on her legs. Also, this one you can see a little bit of brown showing through. But right there, it, it, it actually doesn't look bad. Like, it's painted on good. Like, same with right here on her torso. It's painted on really nicely. But she doesn't have any paint at all on her back. And uh, like I said, I'm not sure uh, if she does if she has that in the movie. But, but they could have done, like, a wash or, or something, you know, just not leave it completely plain. Or do this kind of a pattern on the back right there. That would have looked really nice. But, uh, but Hasbro didn't do that for us. And then there's the boots and nothing more going on right there. So, overall, I just really wish Hasbro would have fixed it to make it more movie accurate. It's still a good figure, I just feel like the paint could have been a lot better, you know. I don't know. So, uh, now let's go over the articulation. She has a ball-jointed head that can look back all the way. She can look down all the way. She can move her head side to side. She has ball-jointed shoulders that can move out that far. Her right shoulder won't move out as far because of the shoulder pad right there. She has single-jointed elbows that can bend in very far that's also on a swivel. She has swiveled wrists that can move side to side and up and down. She has a ball-jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way and down all the way. And it can move side to side. She has ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. She can kick forward all the way. And she can kick back pretty far as well. She has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the ankle that can move up and down, and an ankle rocker. So the articulation is exactly the same as uh, Okoye and Nakia. So now let's, uh, let's get her standing right here. Let's get her in a pretty cool pose right here. There. So now let's do some size comparisons. Uh, okay, there. So here she is next to my uh, semi-customized uh, Anika here. Let's uh, get them standing side by side. And she is just a little bit shorter, the, uh, that body mold. Well, these use the exact same body mold. So, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the head's just, a uh, different? I don't know. It looks shorter, though. But, uh, there she is next to her. And if you wanted to, you could buy another, well, you could buy another, uh, Dora Milaje so you could get her in a matching outfit. 
But like I said, I just used uh, Nakia because I found her on so GameStop. And I just painted it up a little bit and it looked pretty nice. Here she is next to Nakia. Let's, uh, let's get her standing. Oh, I forgot one accessory. No, it slipped under my, uh, slipped under the dial rod. Okay, so, uh, here are the, uh, the accessories that I forgot about that, uh, slid under the, uh, the review station here. Um, she comes with these discs that Nakia came with, except this time they have green handles instead of dark brown. So I'll show that off real quick. Although I'm pretty sure Nakia was the only one to use these. I suppose it gives you options for if you're army building. So there she is with them. Wait, let's go ahead and put the other one in her hand here. There she is with those. And yeah, I'm not a fan of those. I like the spear better. But uh, that that's the accessory that I forgot about here. So uh, let's go ahead and put this back in her hand. Let's go ahead and put them in both hands this time. Okay, so one more size comparison here. And here she is next to Black Panther. And uh there's a uh, there's another one of this in the uh in this Mbaku wave. It's the uh the purple, the charged up suit Black Panther. And uh there's also another uh Civil War Black Panther in it too. So there she is next to him. So, overall, I really like this figure. Like, I do have some complaints about the paint apps, but I do think it's really nice. Like, that head sculpt is fantastic. I really love that. Um, I wish, I wish that it would have been more accurate. Like, the suit's not accurate, and the spear's not accurate, but, you know, Hasbro didn't fix it, and they're, and they're trying to make a quick buck. Like I said, three of the figures in this wave are straight up repaint slash re-releases, like, uh, the Dora Milaje here. She's just repainted and re-released. Uh, the Black Panther is repainted and re-released. And as far as I know, there's nothing different with the uh, Civil War Black Panther. Just a, a brand new head sculpt included with it. So, even though I do have my issues with it, I do think it is a really nice figure. Plus, if you're army, into army building, then you'll definitely want to pick up this figure. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Thanks for watching.